So first of all, let me start with the, I mean, the concept, and then we can talk about other issues. You have been doing this for the past 11 years. How has it been for you as a gospel artist? Yeah, thank you. Uh, it's been very challenging, but uh, by the grace of God, uh, we've been able to seal through uh, uh, due to the support of the massive support of the multimedia group of company and uh, uh, Katie. I mean, from the word go, he just took interest in the ministry and they've given us the support all these years. And we say God bless uh, multimedia group of companies. Mm. Now, this year is the 11th year. What are we to expect? And can you please also give us the dates and how we can be part of this event? This year will be, uh, as you said, 11th year. And uh, it's happening at the National Theatre on the 23rd of September. And uh, the time will be 5 p.m. And this year promises to be awesome because uh, uh, now the ministry has matured uh, for 10 years, 11 years. That's the reason why now we are bold to let the media know that, hey, God is doing something great with the celebration of his grace. So that's the reason why we, we, we are just trumpeting for everybody to come and see what God has done uh, through the ministry of Bernard Amakwa and my team. And uh, we are ready to give people the best of good music and performance. It's, it's live music. Uh, music is life, and live music is music. Right, okay, so now with the concert, as I asked earlier, are we coming in for free? Are we supposed to pay some money to be a part of it? It's just 30 Ghana CDs and then uh, 50 Ghana CDs regular. Um, regular will be 30 Ghana CDs and then the VIP is 50 Ghana CDs. And uh, by God's grace, we are trusting God that um, I think Joy News and Adum News carried uh, um, uh, uh, the kind of water that people uh, uh, drink there. Uh, we are trusting God that out of the uh, proceeds and then uh, I'm, I'm going to release a new album. I will put some there and the people who believe in the ministry will also support it so that we can build a, a borehole for the people of Krachi East and then I mean, at the end of the day we can eradicate poverty if the people get the proper potable water to drink. I mean, that's a good initiative, and as you heard, let's all get ready. It's not just about worshipping God, but it, it's also to give back to society, and that is what Uncle B is talking about here. Now, for our music industry, there's so much going on, especially, um, let me say, it's, it's all the music industry. Now, the, quite recently, we mo there's this hashtag called hashtag support your own, where a lot of people are rallying that um, we should play more of Ghanaian music and then just a little bit of foreign music. Whereas some are calling for 80%, some are calling for um, 90%. Shatawali has called for 95%. Hama has said that he thinks that you can't force a DJ to play like some particular kind of songs. Some are saying that it should be implemented. What is your take on that? Okay, um, uh, my take is just uh, is straightforward. Uh, do we even know the percentage that the, 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 the radio stations are playing now? <laughs> we don't even know. Uh, as far as I know, uh, when you come to multimedia group of companies, I, from morning to, the, uh, to evening, Adam is always playing um, Ghanaian music. The Nigerian music that people are fighting so much about, we used to have the authentic Ghanaian Just playing, but just some tricks that they put into it. So I think that 
Uh, there was a time that I came out to say that we have lost our identity as Ghanaian musicians. And they, they gave... that when we continue to do good songs, they, will them, they themselves will play. Mm -hmm. Today, you can talk of the Kidi, the Kwame Eugenes, Definitely, people will see you and then uh, give you the push. Mm. You talked about Kwame, Eugene, the kitty, and all of that, and I can say that even in. Uh, it's, it's, it's a whole kind, it will open a whole kind of debate, and I'm not ready to debate anybody about it. If they consider it as their gospel, that's fine, but... into the, the, the kind of uh, things that other people are doing that because now the uh, profanity has become the hallmark that people think that they can write into uh, uh, fame. By God's grace, they didn't do those things, but they are getting the, 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 the mileage. So I, I, I pray that they will stay focused and then uh, keep pushing. Now, before I let you go, Shatawale Stone Boy. I'm out. How much be your amount? I'm out. How much be your amount? Yeah, I'm out. How much be your amount? If I'm dead today, if I'm dead today, I'm a hero. I'm a hero. I'm sure you've heard the back and forth between the two and uh, Till now, we haven't really, nobody has had the opportunity to actually even say that, let me bring these two together. What, first of all, what do you make of the back and forth between them? It happens, they try and solve it, and it's back again. I think that uh, Shatta has been in the industry for all this while, and uh, I think that Shatta knows uh, what happens to uh, Exdo and then uh, Chicago. the ish I'll be why today Uh, because we are trying to push Ghana music to the, the place that God has des uh, designed for it to be. And uh, we pray that uh, we will, we will, the, the, the structures will be in place so that when Ghanaians are given platforms, they will excel.
because when we don't have platform, that is where you see this Shatter and Stone Boy fighting all the time. Because if we have proper structures, and today, I mean, what, where is the time for you to even get to go and stand there and to diss your brother? But even today, today, as we speak, the music which is supposed to be the major uh, umbrella that everybody will fall under, they are squatters. Very soon, they are, they are, they are, they are, our, our uh, premises will be demolished. Mm -hmm. And these are some of the things that as musicians, as players in the game, we have to be focusing on how to come together to nurture the young talents that are, that are coming up. And for this, I say kudos to uh, Lynx Entertainment, who is trying to uh, push the young ones. And uh, Mark Krikukmante started it. He did his best. Today, he's building on it. And we let's all come together. Fighting will not help anyone. It will give you the mileage, but it's, it will be short-lived. Mm. Well, Uncle B, thank you so much. And we are looking forward to the concert come the 20, 20, 23rd of September. So as he said, let's go out there. Let's support ourselves and let's go and thank God. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you for having me. Let's talk showbiz. Uh, now, anywhere you go, every Ghanaian, high life, Ghana music, high life, Ghanaian music. How many tribes actually form Ghana? How many tribes do we have in Ghana? I don't know if we have, we have more. I don't know. I can't even count. There's countless, plenty. You see, and everybody definitely have their traditional music. Those little collections, all those collections, sums up to form Ghana music. Not only high life, but you see, we focused on one thing in Ghana. They love to. They love to. They love one trend. Everybody will follow. Ah. So those people enough. That they hit their feet on the floor. They get, they get, they get, they get. That one is not they, are not, they are not part of Ghana, right? That's a nothing Ghanese. So they are also Ghanese. When you go to who, bo, 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 whatever, are they not Ghanaians? Why don't we also promote that one? And we've stuck to it's tribalism, my brother. Because it's easy, three, three people can then. Please, please. You see, think it's tribalism to promote high life music because it's coming from one side of the country. Of course. Of course. But this is what we've we've known for years and we've promoted. This is what has taken the the likes of Am 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 Amanzeba and uh, Rex Omar to places and they've performed. Don't you think um, even in Nigeria they have one particular music that is very dominant that's the, the brand and the market. So don't you think we have high life and that's what we should push? We do have high life. We do have other songs too. We do have collection of tribal music which actually portray Ghana to the next level. We've only focused on one, which is the high life. And this is the high life, the people don't even know the element. You know, do, you, do you even know your, your proper traditional songs? When you go to uh, when, when it's, uh, 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 this Ghana festival, they have something they call yeah, 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 they sing some, you know, those songs and this, those are Ghanaian music. You went out there to take uh, foreign uh, music, uh, 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 what, what do you even call it? Um, this uh, uh, oh countryside music and then change uh, uh, the dialect and they start to sing in tree and call it a Ghanaian music. Shame on you. And now everybody think this is Ghanaian music. You are lying to the people. You know, it's a so big lie. Lie to for all these years. All these years, all these years. They are, they, they, they are all hypocrite, lies. It's a big lie, honestly speaking.